being marginally silly, this is Jane Gates from Gates and Croft Horticultural Design, also the author of my new book, which goes that way, All the Gardens of Stage from Schiffer Books. And what I'm trying, not so successfully, at leaning on is this wonderful piece of Trex. What you might ask is Trex. Trex is a very heavy piece of vinyl. It actually looks like wood. You can see it's textured like wood. And what it is, is a processed, compressed vinyl. And if you build with this, you're not going to have to worry about painting it. Um, you're not going to have to worry about insects. You're not going to have to worry about rain or mold or rot or anything else. It's a little more expensive. Okay, it's a lot more expensive than wood. You can mix it with wood when you build. But we're going to talk about how to build a raised planter with Trex. And Trex is really good for using raised planters, particularly vegetable planters where you don't want to use anything with creosote like railroad ties. You don't want any kind of poisons going into your soil. You want it nice and healthy for your vegetables. And because you're talking about a raised planter having soil in it that's being kept wet and you don't want to have to continually replace the wood as it rots and gets eaten away. So you're going to want to use Trex. And I've got some examples here, some photos done from a shoot of a design I'm working on right now. You can see where they're building some pretty sizable planters and these are being done so they'll really last. The fence posts, which is the white vinyl that you see, those are the same as the white vinyl fence posting that you see all around that may go with picket fence or ranch fences, whatever. And you can fill it with concrete and then put your Trex board up where you put wood. And this is going to make a really secure, strong structure. You can put footings in cement to keep it really strong. These particular beds I'm expecting are going to outlast me. But if you want a good material to build raised beds with that's going to last, try using Trex. It is expensive, but it will pay for itself when you don't have to do all that work and expense of constantly replacing it, fixing it. You get the idea. And if you want more landscape ideas, check out my site at www.gardengates.info.